Quick nostalgia trip, Madden 16 was the first Madden to have draft champions. It was constantly updated. You would get three player selections, build your squad, and then face off against someone in head to head. And every single year after that, in sadly classic EA fashion, the mode deteriorated and deteriorated to the sad excuse that it has been the last couple years. But for the NFL draft promo, they came out with this. It's called competitive draft. Draft your team and take on opponents to earn escalating rewards. Each championship win escalates your championship rewards, peaking with a gold 99 overall draft night player. It's a gauntlet head-to-head -head mode where you draft a team. This should have always been in the game. I'm so happy that we have it. It's sad that we haven't had it, and I hope that this is a sign of things to come. I hope we will have this through all of Madden 25. I should be able to grind head to head, play well enough, and earn a gold 99 like this is offered. Now, quick side note, I think Madden should continue to do this, except set it to a once per day limit. So every day you can come back, try and move through the gauntlet. If you can't beat it today, it refreshes and you get a ticket tomorrow. And then if you want to, you can pay money to get additional tickets. You gotta understand that the reason that EA took this mode out is because they couldn't heavily monetize it. So I, I have to find some middle ground where EA can monetize it and it can be an awesome mode that's free to play. This is really important. Um, I have never used any of these playbooks, although I've used Jets defense. I'm gonna go Seattle Seahawks though. I wanna try it out. So Seahawks offense and defense, our first round. I'm telling you, man, they updated it. Limited Lamar Jackson and it looks like the base team overall is 88. So you start with a really good team. 97 limited Lamar Jackson is gonna be my quarterback. That's an amazing start. Gold 99s on round two. Oh my God. Oh God. What do I go with here? Okay, I feel like Garrett Wilson would be super important. Oh, but Joey Porter Jr. would be so lock up. I'm gonna take Garrett Wilson. I, I need a super threat. Oh no. I actually feel bad now because Ridley is such a good threat too. I'm actually gonna build my offensive line here. I'm going Tyler Larson. Next round, more offensive line unless I want Hunter Henry. I really think Heath Miller could be pretty good. I don't think I need Hunter Henry. I'm gonna keep building the old line. Ooh, shoot. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Carmichael is six foot eight, so he's an insane linebacker. TJ Edwards is 97 overall, though. Here's one big issue. Actually, no. I'm gonna finish drafting, and I'll tell you the big issue. After we drafted our team, I'm gonna take 97 TJ Edwards. Ooh, next round's at Dennis Warren Sapp is amazing. Okuda would help the corners, and Boz would be a really good user. I'm taking Warren Sapp. Such a good card. Preston Smith, Quandre Diggs, or Tyson Campbell. Safeties are so important to me. We'll take Quandre Diggs. Diggs here, we get a 97 overall round. Jerry Judy, Ikea Kwanu, or Darnell Wright. I'm going Ikea Kwanu. I love a good offensive line. We need to draft a good halfback though. I don't got a halfback yet. Take Miles Garrett at right end, 94 overall. Round 10 of 10, corner, middle linebacker, middle linebacker. We have no corners, but I don't have a user either. I'm gonna take Ernest Jones, a 6'2 user. Get another opportunity to switch playbooks. I'm taking Kyle Shanahan. I'm very familiar with Niners offense. We'll take that. And one more option. I'm sticking with Niners. We'll skip there. We land with a 91 overall team. And now let's talk about the one big issue. And, and it's, it's actually just launching me straight into the game. So I can't actually edit my team. You might be able to cancel that load up and go edit your team. The big issue is ever since Madden 20, you know what runs Madden? Abilities. Granted, have Having higher overalls, super important, and I'm excited to see, oh, that's his top three. But what are these players really worth without abilities? I've never understood why EA can't just let us, in these draft champions modes, choose whatever abilities we want. You can, you can keep the ability point limit, but just let us pick and choose abilities on our players and then go into a game. Now, the reason I say that is because we had an opportunity at six foot eight, 93 overall Harold Carmichael linebacker, right? But if you play Madden Ultimate Team, the most important ability in probably this entire game is Lurk Artist. Lurk Artist makes it so that your linebackers actually jump. Without Lurk Artist, linebackers don't jump. So you kind of are forced to user a safety. Hopefully in this game, we'll get a good example of that. But for example, if I lofted a ball over Leonard Floyd's head, he's probably not gonna pick it off without Lurk Artist. So here's a perfect example. That is such a good, okay, granted, he was using a safety. So that's still a pretty tough interception, but if he had Lurk Artist, I'm getting picked off there. Like that's an interception. So what this really boils the game down to is very stock Madden. And I should point out, some people really like stock Madden. Some people like the game better this way. So maybe it's cool in that regard, but I still feel like they should be giving people options. 
You should have the choice to stack abilities as you want. I also think to EA's credit, it's very clear that EA wants to get people involved in Ultimate Team, right? So if you give people the option to use abilities in Draft Champions, that might entice people to play actual Ultimate Team. I don't know. What's hilarious is this game with no abilities, this plays closer to Madden 19. This is kind of more like Madden 19 than it is Madden 24. And for some people, that might be an awesome thing. All right. Uh, I'm going to take... Eesh. See? Gun, gunslinger? That's a rifle right there. My wide receivers are Tory Holt, Garrett Wilson, Chris Collinsworth, and Heath Miller. I think Garrett Wilson's... Ooh, maybe not. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna test it with Chris Collinsworth in the booth! The only problem with Collinsworth is he wishes that Mahomes was the quarterback. That was a heck of a play by Mahomes right there. All right, so now he's in man coverage. Maybe Collinsworth will get him again on this whip route. Pretty solid route, but oh, I'm gonna step up. Nope. I really wanna be able to take off with Lamar. Let's see if we can find an opportunity in this game to do that. Also really wanna get Garrett Wilson involved and we could do it right now, baby. Big rifle to Garrett Wilson. And we'll hang on to that ball. Mm. Oh my God, look at his frozen player. Look at the frozen players. Do you see that down there? Yo, play that back slow-mo. Both of those dudes just froze. <laughs> Yo. It's fair to say that Draft Champions has been updated, but it's probably still broken. We're gonna go DeAndre Swift on the check down here. A juke inside. Hey, no jukebox needed. Third and three. It will let me go no huddle. I'm gonna go inside zone. This is another awesome thing. Defensive line abilities make Madden 24 so difficult to run the ball. Still stuffed it though. Fourth and two. I think I'm gonna go with an I form stretch. I wish we'd have been able to draft a running back though. Fourth and two, he's bringing him down. It seems like he knows what I'm doing, but I still think we can get this. Get to the edge. Let's go DeAndre Swift a little more. <laughs> oh, he's there. Great blocking. He's wide open. And the RPO takes us in for six points. Beautiful work. I'm on the same thing other side. All right, two point conversion. He's loading up. Oh shit. DeAndre Swift, you're on your feet. <laughs> Why not speed onside, right? Oh, he's ready for the onside. Respect. Not, not what we're looking for. Oh, the pitch. No, you dirty dog. He was able to draft a running back. He's got 97 Bijan and gold 99 Keenan Allen. So we're going to have to watch out a little bit here. All right, first and 10. See, I've got Ernest Jones here, but I'm kind of scared. I knew he was going to juke there. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I definitely got to get a safety to use her. If I don't use her a safety... It's gonna be so hard to pick him off. Quandre Diggs will be nice. Oh, he's got four in the middle. Oh no, I'm so out of position. Hey, jeez. He's gonna score in no time. Could be an inside zone to Bijan. So let's hop on Ronnie Hickman to blow it up just in case. Hey, we're there, we're there. That was ugly, but we're there. Does he no huddle the same play? I'm gonna run commit middle. Let's hope he doesn't pass. Oh, I'm really worried. I'm running commit middle. Yes, yes, let's go. Ernest Jones in the backfield. 97 overall, Bijan is struggling right now. Third and goal, now I think he passes, honestly. I got Miles Garrett and a light blue for the pass. I don't think he can commit to the run that often. Good, great defense. No, he's a little past me. Great defense, get him. Oh, we got the ball off. Fourth and goal from the two and he's going for it. I think he runs it again so we can go, or sorry, I think he passes again. So I think we can go nickel. I'm putting everybody in pass pro. He just can't run the ball. If he runs the ball, I'm in trouble. I just don't think he's got the balls. We bagged him so many times. I don't think he will. Good, good. Get on him. Good, good. He playmakers one. I can't, I can't get there. Oh, he throw, no, oh, what are we doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. How did we not stop that? All right. Two point conversion here. It's a, ooh, it is absolutely bad. All right. I do want to draft a new team. We've seen both offense and defense and I want to see the full draft pool available. That's what's really exciting for me. So let's just throw an absolute nuke to Garrett Wilson as our final play here and then go make a new squad. This probably isn't going to work. He's got two deep safeties. So Garrett Wilson's definitely going to have a guy on him, but fuck it, right? Oh my God, wait, that might be an absolute dot. Holy shit. Holy shit. The freeform dot to Garrett Wilson. <laughs> oh, that was such a beam. I freeformed that to the outside. I really didn't think he'd have the wheels for it, but hey, he's a gold 99 for a reason. He doesn't even get touched. All right, two point conversion here. 
Gonna step up with Lamar and make that two point conversion too easy. Hey, fine stuff. I'm gonna be honest, man. I think I would have taken the dub here, but congratulations to you. You're stepping up one on the ladder because that is all she wrote for me. Let's draft a new squad. I do want to kind of track like what is the best draft available. So that team was a 91 overall. Out of these three offenses, I'll take Packers. I used to run Packers in Madden 20 because it had RPO peak zone bubble, which has been severely nerfed. Okay, so this is our quarterback round. Whoa, William Perry has gunslinger. So, so here's what's happening if you don't play ultimate team. William Perry in ultimate team has gunslinger the ability baked into his card it's not something that you add or buy with training or equip it's just baked into the card natively now same thing here with randall cunningham he has the run and gun x factor baked into his card just natively it comes with it so i'm thinking that you may actually have access to these abilities in game if you choose one of these players cunningham is a higher overall but william perry hilariously is one of the most meta quarterbacks in this game he has the fastest release similar to 2k how you have jump shots and then Gunslinger actually increases that release even further. So William Perry is an insanely meta quarterback. Yo! Okay, so here's another example. Denzel Ward comes from a promo called AKA Cruz. All of these players have X factors that just are, are baked into the card. So Linderbaum and Keenan Allen, both are nice picks, but I think Denzel Ward's gonna have bottleneck activated. I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. Keyshawn, Damian Lewis, Darnell Wright. I'm not, I'm gonna take Darnell Wright. I think we'll get more wide receiver options down the line. And speaking the devil. You get DJ Moore, who is the call here. I like DJ Moore a lot. Ooh. Byron Young, Brian Arakpo, and the boss. Byron Young's a stud. We're taking him for sure. Lawrence Taylor, Khalil Mack, AJ Terrell. We gotta take Terrell. We need corners. We got Denzel Ward and Terrell. Actually, we have insane corners. Ooh, another gold 99. <sighs> but it's a corner. I would have two gold 99 corners if I went here. Whereas Wagner, okay, Wagner makes more sense, which is sad because I'd love to go double up gold 99s, but Wagner does make more sense. We'll take him. This next round has a 94 Garrett Wilson, 93 Ruiz, and dude, I'm kidding. I gotta take Jerry Judy here. I gotta take Jerry Judy here. This, I was about to say, this is gonna be a shitty round, but BJ Ojolari's a stud, and this is looking like a really good draft. We'll top it off with 97 Dexter Lawrence. It doesn't say 92 overall. I'm gonna skip here. I'd rather have Packers, and I'll skip here too. I'd rather, I'd rather have Packers. So it's gonna generate my best team, right? 91 overall with a 92 defense, 90. So, so far, the best I've done is 91. I'm gonna press begin championship run, then I'm instantly gonna hit B. I'm gonna spam it. And let's see if this actually lets me edit my team now. No! Wow, okay, never mind. You used to be able to start the game, press B, and then go back in and edit your team, but that is no longer an option. His gamer tag is much greens TK. You're on the wrong game, buddy. And neither of us have a top three, so fuck that whole feature, right? EA Sports. Go fuck yourself. Oh my goodness, that pick six to start us out? With the pitch? Well, we're getting to see this offense quick and look at William Perry. Look at his fat ass. There is technically a way to get abilities, but like, this is so scuffed. You only get abilities. Here's another option for you, EA. Look at how clean that release is. I love this card. Aaron Jones. So here's another option for EA. Okay, EA, so we, we can't choose our own abilities. You don't like that idea, that's fine. You should bake an ability into every single player available. Just bake one ability, one solid ability into every player. You could give Jerry Judy route tech. Aaron Jones could have jukebox. William Perry gets gunslinger as he has. And that is an absolute Duh! To DJ Moore. DJ Moore could have, I don't know, slot specialist. All right, we're gonna go a little, we'll go a little high onside kick here, see if they muff it. Who's that big boy up there? Who's was Walker? Oh my god, I just got a I just got a hit stick fumble on the onside and I have the ball. I'm so sorry. I'm genuinely so sorry, Much Greens 2K. This is a really tough introduction for you on Madden. I could fucking laser beam this, can't I? Oh, no, I can't. I'm ass. Guys, I'm ass. Go low, Heath Miller. That kind of worked. DeMarvin Leal. I am not getting off my blocks. Get there, boys. Hey! All right, I'm hop. Oh, okay, so here's an interesting note, though. Denzel Ward does not have his ability, but William Perry did. So despite Denzel Ward showing that bottleneck X factor on the card, he does not have any X factors. I find that really weird. It's probably a run. We're on Denzel for this, too. Oh, we're all over that. Great defense. Let's see what he likes. I'm trying to bait out number four. I think that's Odell. He's got a whip route. Oh, he does throw it. He gets rocked, but he hangs on. Jeez, he is slow to get up. Maybe an I-form run? Let's hop on Ronnie Hickman. Gotta go blow this up. 
Oh, it's a play action. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get there, AJ Terrell. Moss. Jerry Judy on the kick return. Jerry Judy. That was the ugliest kick return of my life. That was literally the ugliest kick return of my life. But Jerry Judy's in the end zone. That was dog shit. Uh, let's just be real, boys. That was. He's an idiot. AJ Terrell, dude, he's getting bodied by Garrett Wilson right now. Garrett Wilson's, Garrett Wilson's giving us trill. I am bagging this. There's no way you're throwing that. Oh! I have two words for that. Lurk artist. The real problem, honestly, is that rather than making the game realistic as it should be, like linebackers in real life can jump, duh, they make abilities make it more realistic. Now, Lurk Artist itself is not super realistic. They jump way too high. But if I perfectly play a route and I'm holding Y, I should have the ball every time. It's basically like linebackers without Lurk Artist are like concrete shoe morons. And then linebackers with Lurk Artists are like, are like Wii characters. They jump like psychopaths. You know, you guys play Wii Baseball? You know when you just hit an absolute nuke? Like, cock shot piss missile? And then fucking Freddy at shortstop decides to jump out of his shoes to go snag that shit? There is nothing open. Okay, so like, am I gonna- Oh my god, the Marv- I actually got it! I actually got it! Just a sweaty little cover two, man. And uh, I think Jerry Judy probably beats his man bad enough that we can just rifle this to him. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that might be a touchdown! On fourth and 10, another dot! Jerry Judy! Come on, baby! All right, dominance is officially asserted. All right, hey, Much Green's 2K. Welcome to Madden. They say 2K, boy! Okay, when I said boy like that, I know that that sounds... Okay, I don't know his... I'm done. I'm done. I'm redrafting. You need to shut the fuck up. All right, let's do one final draft here. See what the pool's looking like. I'll probably have a separate video where I try and draft the absolute best team possible. So we'll just keep cycling in and out until we find what we want. Um, but right now, 91 is my best. Denver defense is really good. I don't know about their offense. Quarterback options, we have Murray, Air McNair, and Stroud. Three completely different quarterbacks. None of them have baked in abilities. I'm honestly so like... If there's no gold 99 quarterbacks or nobody else with baked in abilities, William Perry is going to be the best quarterback. Absolutely. He might not be the highest overall, but he's going to be the best quarterback because all of these guys without Gunslinger are nothing on him. Ooh, they put Bo Selly in here? Okay, this card, this shouldn't be allowed. Six foot eight Carmichael is a god, whether abilities are concerned or not. I like Luke Musgrave as much as the next guy, but this is the best wide receiver you can get. What? So you could get a quarterback in the non-QB round. Ooh, this changes things. Eli Manning's available. I'm sticking with Stroud for the overall. I'm gonna go 98 Greg Olson. This is a, oh my God. And we get Richardson as an option? And we got Musgrave again as an option? Oh my God. I gotta go Whitworth because I don't need either of those positions. Uh, Montez Sweat is really nice. I'll go Montez Sweat very fast uh, for his position. Free safety, Mean Joe Green is a hilariously good card. Yeah, once again, if you don't play Mutt, a lot of this probably makes no sense, but every ultimate legend player in Mutt gets an out of position card. So like Ocho Cinco has a middle linebacker, I think. Mean Joe Korean has a free safety. Deion Sanders has a quarterback. You get the idea. I personally love this Jalen Carter, but I think corners are probably more important and would be better for my overall. Looks like, looks like there's always an NFL draft round. That's what I'm starting to see. looks like eight of 10 is usually an NFL draft. And a lot of times they're gonna be rocking this 97 Jerry Judy. That's a really solid card. It's also good to know that you're always gonna have a solid wide receiver later. Gotta take Ojolari again. Hopefully they'll switch those guys around. Round 10 of 10 is a Super Bowl round. This is not the best draft, I'm not gonna lie, but I do like this Camp Chancellor. We're still rocking a 91 overall, though. This time, we're the inverse of last one. We have a 92 offense and a 90 defense. Carmichael, Olsen, Judy, that's us. Hey, we got a top three. Can I see his? What? You can get Ring of Honor players? What? I haven't seen a single one of those. And they all have baked in abilities. Oh my God. Oh my God, you definitely can do at least a 92, maybe a 93. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Just wait for the follow-up video, boys. Just wait for the follow-up video. For now, we need to assert our dominance on this guy. Oh my God. <sighs> Honestly, just send Carmichael and pray is probably a decent option. You don't even have to pray, man. If he's even remotely open, he'll always... Go ahead and guard it. Doesn't matter. Dude, he's fucking six foot eight. What are you gonna do? I hate how well this is working. I didn't intend to be making such a good point. <laughs> he dropped.
dropped it. Okay. Yeah, I got Rich Eisen at running back right now. I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't used Greg Olson yet. Let's give him a jump ball. Or let's throw the ball directly to Emmanuel Forbes. Yo, he's got Vic and Dickerson. That's crazy. Oh no, and I missed with Cam. Does he run the ball again? Maybe a read option. Got a pass to Dickerson. He's, oh, I tried to predict the juke. Second and 13, I'm gonna guess pass. And let's go to a cover three. I do not want to be on Jones right now. Okay. Oh, big, big fumble out of Vic. Who's gonna get it? Money. Money. Let's go, boys. All right, we got Carmichael on this deep crosser. I absolutely love this route. But he knows I love Carmichael. Luckily, Jerry Judy sitting down on that little hitch right there. Let's go tight end angle. Oh, it's a classic play, bro. Everybody who's played Madden knows tight end angle. And I got Greg Olson for real this time. Hey! No! No, oh, don't rock the baby, you cuck! Greg Olson, you are a 98 overall. You got no excuse on that one, buddy. Put Carmichael on a hitch as my kind of my check down here. There's Jerry Judy. Beautiful route. I might just be able to go up top. <sighs> Why not? Honestly, I'm gonna go for it no matter what. So I'm gonna inside zone here, see if I can make this a little more manageable for us. Behind Rich Eisen. Oh my God, I did not just do that. To me. With Rich Eisen. That's so fucking stupid. I'm gonna get on Mean Joe Green free safety. Oh wait, he has Carmichael too. I gotta back up. So he goes play action. He's. I honestly just expected him to airmail that. Ooh, nice move. First and 10. Ooh, Montez Sweat. All right, first and 10. Let's go assert dominance. That's dominance assertion, dude. Step it up. No. Dude, he's knocking me out like he's got abilities. Why is my big boy dropping these? I am not proud of you right now, Carmichael. Just kidding. Carmichael got me my first. Right into Judy. Judy hangs on to it, Harold. Six foot eight for what, buddy? That's, that's money. All right, Carmichael, look at that fat. Dude, that juke is way too fast. It completely defies physics. All right, second and inches. We know that the real secret weapon on this team is Rich Eisen. We also know that the real secret weapon on this team uh, is my left guard who just failed to block the only man he needed to block. I'm going with the same play because who would do that? Who would run the exact same play back to back after it was that pitiful? Okay. Rich Eisen is him. All right, we got a chip, a chip route out of Greg Olson. Take your time. Ooh. Yo, what happened to 58? <laughs> Derek Thomas just ignored me. All right, first and 10, two minute warning coming up. We could score right before half and uh, put ourselves in a great spot here. They are really giving CJ Stroud some room, baby. Hey, 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 hey! Say something about Rich Eisen right now, I dare you. I forgot how unbelievably, I'm intentionally not scoring this, by the way. I want the clock to keep moving. And I might've just gone out of bounds, so I'm an idiot. I forgot how good I form stretch is when you don't have abilities. Look at how good that play is. That's so OP. Can I do it one more time? You go to the opposite side. Ooh. I really like how he's playing. He's gonna check that low. We do not have the angles. Whoa, gentlemen. Uh, he doesn't have anything. Oh, get there again, Jordan Davis. Let's go. Second and 17. Yeah, I don't see what he's got here. Oh, he's got Dickerson. What is this? Does he go to Dickerson again? Oh, can I get there? No, I thought that'd be fourth and inches. He's starting to like this play a little too much. I got to put Jordan Davis on a QB spy so that he kind of sits in the middle of it. Yeah, see, now he's not open. But that is... Hey, that's exactly what we wanted. Cam Chancellor gets home on a screamer. All right, now I'm gonna fake it. I'm pretend like I'm blitzing, pull out. Oh, 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 we're there! Good defense, Mean Joe Green, free safety. It's a stupid carpet. It's actually, it's a really good Harold Carmichael counter. He's got the size and the weight to uh, go toe for toe with him. Third and 17, I'm gonna guess this has been my best defense right here. Sending this extra blitzer, guess and pass. Getting up, Oh, if you can get that many mitts on it, you gotta catch it, buddy. That's all right, that's great defense, can't be mad. Fourth and 17, all right, it's big, this is big, it's huge. Am I on this? Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Stuck with it every step. No way I can. Oh, oh, you almost had that block. Oh, good try. We absolutely dominated today. 
We really did. We absolutely dominated today. Okay, boys. Draft Champions is officially back. It is only for a limited time, I think. But I'm so happy it's back. This looks like a very rudimentary version of what I hope we have in Madden 25. There's only 10 rounds. The pool seems semi-limited, although they have a ton of really cool players in there. And you don't have access to your own abilities. So there, it leaves something to be desired, but still, beggars can't be choosers, man. We got an updated awesome Draft Champions with gold 99s, and I've been wanting that for six years now. So... All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.